So we're here at CUT at uh, Mobile World Congress 2010. And uh, what are you showing here at the booth? We're showing all sorts of things. Uh, CUT is a, is a very versatile framework that uh, goes well beyond mobile. So we have um, not only some great mobile stories today, but we have um, some devices that are shipping with CUT, some embedded stuff, and um, even some experimental things that, are, that have just come out. So why don't you come and have a look? So what are, you ha what are you showing here? What we're demonstrating here is actually, is actually a, a very common use of Qt, which is in, in exploration of new concepts, new ideas. So uh, this, is a, this is a prototype of a potential set-top box user interface. It's, it's uh, showing off from, uh, from a, a work of a partnership between ourselves, Movial St. Ericsson, who is, who is producing that hardware. It's early prototype hardware that embeds ARM's new Mali uh, GPU architecture. And the intent is to show the, the possible use cases of a new user experience in set-top box environment. And you, will, and you will see, as displayed here on the screen, the, the ability to move pixels very fast that is afforded by that particular uh, piece of hardware. Uh, we have integrated here uh, the possibility of a uh, integrated IP connected communications mechanism uh, also being uh, uh, used from the television remote control. Uh, and in this case, you see a, the communicator, you access the potential of a news reader. Uh, RSS feed, the, a, uh, an image wall, a video wall where one can scan quickly through thumbnails of videos, select one to play, uh, and, and, and play it. So part of this use case, part of this uh, user experience is exploring ideas that has that has pizzazz in terms of uh, graphical portrayal, in terms of speed of painting pixels on a screen. Right, so can we go back to the main menu and sure. see, um, sure. see and some of these features? Uh, yeah, in, in communication, do you have uh, oh, you have a web browser? Uh, yes, this also portrays the potential of the integration with a with a digital TV, uh, a web browser. Of course, this is part of the exploration here. Uh, because normally a TV has only a, you know, a five-directional kind of navigation aid. So one of the challenges is how do you uh, effectively interconnect with the, uh, with the Internet a television. So next stages in this exploratory development is the potential of either integra uh, integrating a virtual keyboard that can be operated here, or controlling the uh, the the system with a Nokia mobile phone. Nice. Uh, do you have should I have internet right here? Or can you do uh, well, or unfortun unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, the, yes, we we do have it. We'll see how quickly this may this may paint to screen. This, because uh, this uh, ST Ericsson processor is the latest one? It's the future, their latest the one. one. This is actually only the second rev of the silicon, so it's, yeah. it is silicon. Is the ARM Cortex A9 processor? It's Cortex A9 with the Mali GPU. It'll yes. be the first commercial offering of the Mali GPU. So that means that the web browsing will be super fast, like a, like a, a computer. A, a, exactly, but unfortunately here, this, it does show that we're connected, but unfortunately yeah. here the internet speeds are horribly slow. So there's no Ethernet you're using right here, right? Uh, using Wi-Fi? It, it is. It, it no. It is connected via Ethernet okay. to to computer underneath. Okay. Yeah, but that's just the internet issue. And yes. so the web browsing will be uh, based on on a WebKit kind of browser or something it, like that. Well, that's the uh, WebKit is deeply integrated in yeah. Qt. So yes, it, uh, the the uh, the integrated browser here is based on WebKit.
Thanks. You're quite welcome. So, should we check some other... Yeah, we should. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, sure. um, so that was uh, done by, by one of our partners, Movial. Um, the other things that we've got, we've got some consumer products that are shipping mm -hmm. using Qt. Um, HP have made a, a cool little printer that is web-enabled and touch-enabled and actually lets you do things like print out. This is on a market array, you know? Right, Isn't so it? This, is, um, this is something that they've put together using Qt for their UI. So we've got some shipping products that, that major manufacturers are making um, yeah. using Qt. Something else that's interesting, uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to get a look at it because there's a lot of people uh, crowding around it, but yeah. um, at this show we've got something called Qt Ring, which is a, a new UI creation kit that lets uh, developers and UI designers who don't have experience in C++ take advantage of the power of Qt. So um, it has the potential to really open up uh, a large number of new developers who can, uh, who can make use of Qt. So Digi, our partners, are showing this great demo that they've done um, using Qt Quick. So we might try and see if we can uh, sneak in and, and get a look at it. So here, what are you showing here? Uh, so here we have a number of devices built with, uh, built with Qt. I'll uh, start over at this end. This is the Asus uh, uh, Skype phone, video Skype phone. Basically, it's a great way of, you know, people just they just want to do video calls using Skype. You know, they have this, this tool here. What kind of uh, 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 computing is inside this one? What kind of processor and stuff does it use? Uh, I don't know. You don't? Okay. Actually, I don't know about any of these, to, okay. just to, to help okay. in advance. Uh, is the Arcos? Yes. So Arcos uh, released uh, a couple devices based yeah. on Cube. Uh, the whole user interface yeah. had uh, Cube-based interpreters. Uh, here we have a couple Skype phones. Yeah. So these are uh, wireless, you know, Wi-Fi based Skype phones. Well, this is real Skype. Yeah. Just for Skype. Just for Skype. Yeah. So these are supposed to be, you know, low cost oh, devices that replace sort of uh, in-house uh, you know, portables. Yeah. Here we have uh, a recipe device. Yeah. This is the Demi uh, from Key Ingredient. Basically, what it is is it's uh, a kitchen tool. Yeah where you can store all your recipes, download recipes, have all the rest, you know, all the description, ingredients, some details. Nice. Yeah. And you can even turn it around like this? Yes, it's uh, nice. depending on where you are. And like that as well? No. No? Okay. How about that one? <laughs> How about, uh, this is the Milo? This is the second generation Sony Milo. Nice. This, um, this is based on Qt? Yes. So thanks to Qt, they've been able to uh, customize this yeah, so the way they, they want it. Uh, their own user interface on this device. Okay. Uh, here we have the uh, Garmin Phone G60. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the the means, so, yeah. uh, an AT&T SIM card, which we don't have. Okay. <laughs> which means we can't show you the nice user interface yeah. on that. And then we have the Samsung uh, digital photo frame. And it's touch? No. no. But it has cute to do a whole bunch of things. Yeah, so there's a bunch okay. of uh, buttons here. controls on the back okay. that you use to you know, set up a slideshow and things like that. Thanks. Uh, yes. so there you have the one of the upcoming Samsung e-readers. E -reader. Yes, that's correct. So this is digital e-ink technology. This actually has a processor that runs at only 87 megahertz, which uh, is pretty impressive for something running cute. Okay, we have again. calendar. <laughs> 87 megahertz, that's it. Yeah. So it's really uh, low power and it's e-ink, so as soon as you touch the, the screen or put back the stylus, there's no power that's consumption it. at all. Right. And so it's, this whole interface is uh, powered by Qt. Yes, that is correct. Nice. So something that we've been showing people at, at Mobile World Congress is uh, the, the cross-platform story of Qt. So you can see here you've got uh, a nifty little touch grocery application that lets you do things, but the application isn't really the main story. The main thing is that you can see that it's running across multiple platforms. So here this uh, TC device is Windows Mobile, and then you've got the exact same app running on, a, on an N85 Symbian, on a Samsung, uh, Samsung Symbian phone through our own 5800 and then on a completely different platform, the MIMO platform that the, um, that the N900 there runs. So um, that's all the same source code just being compiled on these different platforms. So, How, how do you do to uh, be compatible between those different platforms? What's the trick? 
Well, uh, th there's a technical trick to that, which I'm probably not the best person to answer. But uh, it's a matter of creating your source code once, and then it, it compiles on the different platforms, and and uh, that's the benefit of Qt. Can Qt be uh, compatible with even more platforms? Do you want me to target that or yeah. to take that? Yeah, so, so what we do when we integrate with a new platform is we create libraries that run on that specific operating system and that user interface. So we develop the libraries, and then we just make sure that our APIs run on top of that. So, so for instance, on the, the, the MIMO device, that's a Linux-based device, and we've been running on Linux for 15 years. But then what we did is we integrated with uh, you know, the, the MIMO user interface, and the feel, and the styling, and all the rest. So it has that native feel to, to the application. On sort of different platforms like Windows Mobile, what we had to do was just target the device with a whole new set of libraries. We developed those from scratch for the target device, but we made sure that the same APIs would run on those platforms. So you need to add, add uh, some kind of uh, components to Windows Mobile for it to work. Right, so you have, um, you have to have the libraries running on the device for the application. And that's a certain amount of megabytes actually yeah. installed um, and stuff like that. So, so, for instance, for Symbian, I believe it's in the ballpark of about 6 megs. 6 megs, and yeah. you install that, and then it's totally compatible. Yeah. Totally, like, with the latest. So, we go all the way back to S63.1. Okay. So, we support 3.1, 3.2, uh, S65.0, yeah. and then the upcoming Symbian releases as well. Nice. And if a uh, user of one of those phones doesn't have the libraries installed, it can automatically get them or something? We order. will have that technology available for release soon. It's in beta right now. Yeah. So in a few weeks, we're going to have, uh, it's called the Nokia Smart Installer for Symbian. Uh, so a developer can start creating their application today for Symbian. And in a few weeks, when they go to deploy their application, it'll you know look up, see what libraries are needed, install them automatically. How about the compatibility with any other OS? It's not been announced, I guess. But uh, how about uh, compatibility with the other Linux-based, uh, uh, for example, Android? Well, so right now, uh, we've been really working to focus on getting queued up and running smoothly on the platforms that uh, you know, we're initially targeting. Uh, we never rule anything out, but uh, right now we have our focus area on, on these particular platforms. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. One, actually, one yeah. interesting thing yeah. is that uh, through our community, our open source community, Somebody else has actually ported Qt to run on the Palm Pre WebOS platform. Oh yeah, just on his own uh, without WebOS. Yeah, just on his own, no input or knowledge from us. Just is it uh, a hacked version of WebOS, or is it an official kind of way to install it there? He, uh, I don't have the details. I All I know is yeah. I see Qt apps running on uh, Palm Pre's. So. Nice. So the opportunity is that uh, there is one development uh, environment for yeah. everything. So you write to one API, and then it's portable to a lot of different places. And you can also uh, make very advanced software, like uh, with the processor-intensive tasks and... Uh, Some of the most advanced software in the everything. world is written with Qt. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of the uh, special effects tools used in Hollywood are, are built with Qt. All the, you know, sort of the, the graphic design and, uh, you know, uh, NASA and you know, a lot of uh, science, scientific research is done with Qt. Um, yeah, so... Can you tell me just a little bit what's different between Qt and Mamo? Well, Memo is uh, sort of the full platform, so that includes like Linux and you know GStreamer and uh, a lot of different elements leading up to a full platform. Qt is the UI layer, the the, the tool that you use to create uh, applications and in the future the user interface as well. All right. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. What we have here is, is a demo with Qt Quick. I demonstrated the capabilities uh, to be able to implement an application once and deploy it over several platforms. So this, this specific application has been done done in a couple of months. Basically to, to uh, demonstrate, for example, a, a car user interface with, with navigation capabilities, being able to control your music, uh, phone calls from car, uh, phone system. Uh, you can insert web components into it. So basically you don't have to implement everything again and again, but, but you can use ready-made content. Right there, is a simulator, emulator? This, or this, this, is a, this is running on Windows PC. Windows PC, okay. <laughs> the same application, exactly the same application you can see here, uh, running on Nokia Maimo device. So we have implemented one application with, with Qt Quick, deployed it to several platforms. So, so it, 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 like I said, it can run on... on, on Nice. It's exactly the same uh, exactly. code. No, nothing needs to be changed or customized or anything. Exactly. Yeah. No porting. No port. It's, it's the same application. Here on, on these three, three different devices, HTC Windows Mobile uh, device, which is probably yeah. not on yet. No battery? Oh, there it's is. on, yeah. 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 Uh, 
and, and of course all the other platforms, Mac OS uh, and so forth. Uh, so nice. uh, it, it, it sort of from developer perspective makes perfect sense to use Qt. And the, the tools, uh, you're, you're providing tools at DJI? Qt is the, the providing the tools. DJI is, is one company who can help uh, the, the company enterprises to actually deploy and develop applications. We can provide training, consultancy, application development, and so forth. All right, thanks.